One of the questions loads of people ask when it comes to Hearts of Iron 4 is what difference does the infrastructure make? Why does infrastructure matter? Is there a benefit to building more infrastructure? The answer is yes, yes and yes. We're going to take a look at that. There are three main advantages to improving your infrastructure on a nation that you control and we're going to dive into that right now. So first off, I've gone ahead and chosen myself Brazil and if I zoom in and we're just going to come over to the construction tab over here we're going to see if I look at infrastructure I've given myself very deliberately the whole gamut of infrastructure and if we take a look over here from Brazil the road networks or the infrastructure networks in the top corner is a zero and if you can look around there you'll see somewhere is a one somewhere is a two all the way up to in this case a five out of five down here so we're going to be able to conduct the tests in every situation so the first thing to say is that when it comes to infrastructure and supplying your own army, whether that is literally an infantry division, a tank division, or whether it's like an airbase or whatever it is, the higher the infrastructure is for that state, the easier or the better it is to supply your army. Those of you that have played this game a lot, I'm sure you will have realized or, or experienced that you were advancing with your really nicely polished army and division and everything was going really well. And then if, you know, take for example here in Brazil while we're here, you're coming through the rainforest, it's a one out of five or worse. And it's like all of a sudden, all of those advantages that were going swimmingly grind to a halt. You know, the, the outback in Russia is another great example where you're going to have very poor infrastructure. The reason there primarily is because the infrastructure being so low means it's been very difficult to supply your army. So that's the first big reason. A second major advantage when it comes to infrastructure is the amount of resources you pull out of the ground. And we're not just talking a little change here or there. We're talking it literally doubles how much you can get out of the same piece of ground without adjusting your technology now although the date up there says june 1937 that's just what i've had to do behind the scenes before i hit records i haven't researched any of the technology you can see i've got all of the notifications there so i'm still operating under the default 1936 technology take a look at this tile over here and again if i come to the uh, road network tile this one here, this, this large state, it's actually a huge state here, this or this county in Brazil, is currently a 0 out of 5. We've been over that, but take a look at this. The amount of aluminium that this state is producing is 4 pieces. Now, if I was to research all the excavation technologies, clearly that number is going to increase. But absent of that, the base value is 4. Now, remember I was saying that if we go from a 0 to a 5, it literally doubles. Watch this. If I left click to go from a 0 to a 1, we see that increases the aluminium in this case, plus 1. If I go ahead and shift and go all the way up to level 5, look at that. The, four, the base of 4 is now doubled by plus 4, giving us 8. And again, the further technology then we research, this is going to increase ever higher. So right there is a huge reason to improve your infrastructure. Now, clearly, if you're already on a higher level, such as here, we're already on a level two, upping this to a level five is no longer going to double it because it's already increased somewhat from the zero. But just to show, if I left click, left click, left click to get us from a level two to a level five, we would go from 39 pieces of rubber up to 52 pieces of rubber. So again, this is a, a, a large advantage. But the third and final advantage, and this is what uh, the, is going to make the end of the video, is how quickly you can build new buildings, whether they're civilian factories, military factories, air bases, road networks, you name it, whatever structure you can think of, oil refineries and so on. Being able to build them on a higher infrastructure makes them quicker. Now, the question is, of course, well, how much more quickly? And that's what we're going to find out right now. So we're just going to go for a civilian factory. And you can see in terms of construction cost, it's a lot. 10,800. So that's, you know, it takes a while, right? So let's go ahead and start on the lowest tile, which is the level zero over here. 
And let's see how long it would take to build this. So if I left click to build the one, there's only actually room for one in the entire state. We've got 15 factories getting to work, so the maximum 15 out of 15. And if I hover over it there, you can see it's going to take 180 days to complete. That's half a year with the full 15 factories working to complete on a level zero infrastructure, okay? Let's move over now to a level one or where we see the 20% figure next to the road network. Let's go ahead and put one down. Now we're talking 150 days, so we're saving 30 days. So you may say, oh, well, to upgrade the road network just to save 30 days, probably not really worth it. Okay, but what if the tile lets you put down, say, 10 factories or 15 factories? You're saving 30 days again and again and again, 10 times or 15 times over. So suddenly it becomes very much more worthwhile. So let's cancel that one. What about uh, level two or the 40% infrastructure? One and 129 days now to build this as opposed to 150 or 180. So we can begin to see the pattern evolve. Let's go ahead and find ourselves a level three network or the 60% tile. That's 113 days. Let's now go to a level four, which is 80%. That's going to take only 100 days. Drum roll then for a level 5 out of 5. How long does it take to produce one factory with the oldest technology that is available in the game? The answer is 90 days. So 90 days on a level 5 infrastructure to build a factory versus 180 days when it's a level 0. Once again, it doubles the speed or it's twice as quick from change to a level zero to a level five and there's your answer i hope you found that useful make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and if you are a complete beginner at this game do check out my 2024 tutorial there's an entire playlist it'll hold your hand to walk through the entirety of this game explain all the mechanics of it and at the end of it you'll end up controlling half the world as well it is a click for click tutorial which means you'll be able to follow along there are no edits there are no cuts there's no guesswork there's no whizzing so hope you found that useful. Until next time from me, take care. Bye-bye.